YouTubers and knife makers. I've been getting some questions from people starting out making knives about what kind of steel to use. There's a lot of people who start out using old files making knives from them uh, or spring steel scraps of steel. There's nothing wrong with that. I still do this uh, do that to this day. I, I like making um, knives out of that kind of thing. But the reality is if you do that a lot of times you're not exactly sure what kind of steel you have and also, anyone who's started grinding on a file, even if they've tried to anneal it, um, it it's, it's just real hard. Also, it's unpredictable because even some of the uh, uh, quality file makers out there uh, over the years, some of the cheaper files that they've made um, are kind of case hardened, or sur you know, surface hardened only on the surface, and and they're just a little bit of unpredictability about their function. And uh, sometimes it's difficult to anneal too, and I've seen a lot of file knives that makers have made too hard and, um, you know, tried to anneal them and it can be difficult. Uh, and then when you have the teeth marks in a file, um, it creates stress points, especially when it's heat treated. And I've seen a lot of uh, file knives, that homemade file knives that people have made where the blade is snapped somewhere. And if you examine them closely, it's usually right in one of those uh, tooth grooves in the file because it's created a weak point and some stress fracture there. So I really recommend um, buying steel and I'll talk a little bit today about 1095. I'll show you a couple pictures of my shop and do a little unboxing I guess uh, of some steel I bought from a company called Admiral Steel. I like the knife making supply houses out there uh, on the internet. It's just wonderful to be able to buy all kinds of knife parts and I'm, I'm glad for what they do in selling steel. Um, they have to make money, and um, so they, they, they do mark that up. I, I like buying a little bigger quantities of steel, from, uh, particularly from Admiral Steel, because it's a great deal, and uh, you can get different custom lengths. They'll send them to you. Shipping is not that expensive here in the U.S., um, you know, shipping from Chicago to here. And uh, so I'd like to show you that, talk a little bit about it. Um, cold rolled annealed steel especially 1095, is going to be the softest, I think anyway, the softest annealed steel you can buy. Um, it, it comes a little bit oversized, which I like, and it's very flat. It's not precision ground, but it's, it's flatter and more consistent than um, hot rolled 1095. Um, and also, you have the advantage of not having any scale um, from the milling operations of hot rolling steel. Um, so also included a couple photos of my knife shop, which is uh, a little red barn um, that's adjacent to my house. And uh, hope you enjoy this and it uh, helps you in thinking about making knives or uh, at least give you a, a source maybe for buying steel uh, that's cheaper and uh, in bulk. So enjoy. So this is how the steel is shipped in a heavy cardboard tube from Admiral Steel with uh, metal end caps screwed in. And uh, with this steel, because it's so soft, you have to be a little bit careful. It can bend under its own weight and lose its straightness. Um, it's very clean and straight and flat. And as you'll see here in a moment, no, no decarb on it. This is a great uh, place to buy steel. It's inexpensive. And especially if you're interested in making a sword, this is where you'd get long pieces that you could cut and uh, grind into a sword if you like. I've cut a little piece off of the end of the thinnest steel here that'll work for folders or anything else. So you can see, I'll kind of zoom in, it's just, it's very clean, completely rust free and decarb free, uh, shiny and soft and easy to work. Those are the sizes and here's Admiral Steel's address and contact information. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed that. I would encourage again if you're starting out making knives, it's the steel is not expensive, especially if you buy it in these sizes. It's I can make a whole lot of knives out of that steel, and um, easy to work with. It's easy to drill. It's easy to grind, and also 1095 is very easy to heat treat. It's a real forgiving steel. Um, if you mess up and heat treat, you, you can anneal it again and heat treat it again without causing undue stress to the steel. 
And starting out making knives with steel that is a lot more predictable and honest, those are the two words that I would use to describe 1095, is your best bet. I uh, saw a real gifted new knife maker who made, made a steel knife out of some mild steel because he said he was practicing. And when he got done, he had the most beautiful knife, but you couldn't harden it, couldn't use it. And so I'd recommend uh, spending just a little bit of money and uh, working on a steel, even if you're practicing, that if it turns out real nice, you got a beautiful knife. And also, it's better to practice grinding the kind of steel you're going to make knives out of anyway. So, uh, good luck in the knife making. As always, I sure uh, appreciate any uh, video responses or uh, questions posted that you may have. And um, good luck in making those knives.